With Trackmatsky, you can replace the inside of text with another asset, or replace a mask with a color palette, and even replace overlays like this. Envy to Chris Markin, Stazai Edits, and Stain, thank you for the memberships. Method 1 text. With this method, you can pretty much put anything inside your text, so before it might look like this and after, you've got your video inside it. First of all, search for track mats key and add it onto your clip, it's this one underneath keying. Make sure that your source is the bottom layer and the text is at the top. It should be above it, otherwise it won't work. Anyways, what you need to do now is head over to effect controls and underneath the track mats key, it's going to say matte, just click on video 2 or even video 3 or 4. It will depend on which layer your text is on, so mine is on video 2, yours could be on video 4, so you'll need to select video 4. And there you go, how easy was that? Now we're going to get a little more complicated with keyframes. So apply the same method and what you can do is use vector motion or the transform settings which directly control the text itself. I'm going to stick to vector motion and what you can do is keyframe it. So for example, you can see that I've scaled it up to 260 to fill the edges. And then what I did, in fact, I'm going to get rid of all of these keyframes and do this again. So after scaling, I keyframe the position and then move the text to the left, just like that, maybe negative 35. Then I went a few frames ahead and then then just shifted it to the right like so. You can see that the video is not moving at all, it's only the text, which is a very cool effect. Anyways, next what I did was I graphed it, so I opened them up and pulled this handle all the way to the right like so. And if you wanted to flip this around, so in my case, I let's say I wanted to fill these dark parts instead of the text itself, what you can do is head over to Trackman Key, the one you already applied, and click on Reverse. Do you see how it completely flips it around rather than just inverting the text? So yeah, that's something cool if you would like to try it. Method 2 color mat. I'm just going to duplicate my example and just move it here. So my example is a mask that I have created. I've removed the background and kept the character. And let's say I wanted to completely fill it in with one singular color. I could add on tint, which is underneath color correction, and then map the black to whatever I want. So red, for example, and the same applies to the white, just like that. And now he's completely red. However, let's say I wanted to apply it to something else like text. Of course, I could simply just right click, copy, and then paste it over. But if I had a certain certain texture or a certain effect on. Let's say for color gradient, uh, do I need to move it up? I'm not entirely sure. Nope, that makes no difference. So I believe the order of the track map key does not really matter. But as I was saying, let's say you wanted to apply for color gradient the same way across all your layers. So for me, it's layer two, it will look like this. And the same would apply to the text or even perhaps some, let's say some noise. I'll set it to, let's go for 16. And now both my mask and also the text have grain. So I guess that's one alternative to just copy and pasting effects from one asset to another. Simply just create a color mat. For example, I created mine, which is red, and then just apply track mat key and select your video. So for me, video two. In fact, I'm going to try and apply a black video instead. I don't know if that's going to work, but let's see. Hopefully it does. So I'm just going to add a black video, track mat key. If you work there you go just apply that on and set it to video 2 now i can add on whatever i want so let's try a uh, four color gradient once again and it actually works so you don't need to make a color map unless you want it to be a specific color let's add some grain even though it's called noise i just call it grain anyway maybe some levels and if i increase that look at that it's sort of like a dissolving effect i think this could work really well with texture if i move levels up it looks like this and wow that looks that actually looks incredible i don't know what i'm doing but i do hope you learn something from it Method 3 overlays. You can't really see it, but I've got these paintbrush textures. They look like this. Let me just show you. And with track mat key, you can replace these with anything. In my case, I've replaced it with my video. What I did was I added on my overlay, which is the paintbrush. You cannot see it because my background is black and so is the overlay. But what I did was I added track mat key onto my clip and then set it to video two. From this point on, I can freely move it around without having to nest it. You can see I'm playing around with the motion and it looks like both the overlay and the clip have been nested together. Even though I'm only moving the clip which is the bottom layer. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace.